Okay, now the next question, question number nine, is quite a straightforward question that has been drawn from the initial stage of mechanics. Position vector with respect to time is given, the value of alpha, beta, and even the mass is given. And at t equals to one second, we need to calculate the velocity, angular momentum with respect to origin, the force, and the torque with respect to origin. So straightforward, so I'll not be giving much attention to this, the velocity is dr by dt. Angular momentum with respect to origin would be m r cross v and you can put the time and the force would of course be m dv by dt and finally the torque would be dl by dt. What you could do is that you have calculated angular momentum as a function of time, you just differentiate with respect to time, you'll get torque, or another way is you do R cross F, that's also equally valid. So it's all simple calculation on very easy arithmetic. I have done it, and the correct option would be A, B, and D. So that's about question number nine. We'll proceed to question number 10. Question number 10 is from ray optics, and very evident it has been derived from the topic lens. There is a plano convex lens of refractive index n and an object is kept 30 centimeter from the lens. Now it says due to refraction the image size is double that of object. So quite obviously you could see the image size is double. In other words when the object distance is 30 centimeter so in that particular situation what we get is image distance has to be 60 centimeter and I get 1 by V minus 1 by U is 1 by F when it comes for the lens. 1 by 60 minus 1 by minus of 30 is 1 by F and that gives us the calculation of focal length of the lens to be 20 centimeter. We already could go with the conclusion of one option. Now that was only due to refraction, while due to reflection, now what reflection? It is in fact, whenever the light enters here, partly it is refracted, partly it is reflected. So we are talking of that reflection, so of course it would be reflection from a convex mirror. Another faint image is observed 10 centimeter away from the lens. Now see it is a convex mirror, so the image would be virtual. So in that situation, the faint image is erect and real, that would be incorrect. So let's try to calculate the radius from that particular data. 1 by V plus 1 by U is 1 by F. And that F can be written as 2 by R. Now V is 10 centimeter away, I believe. You could see 10 centimeter away from the lens. So that's plus 10. And the object distance is minus of 30 that's 2 by r. So simple calculation r would be 30 centimeter. Now the radius is given out to be 45 centimeter so this option would be incorrect. Now let's try to see with the refractive index of the medium. For that what we need to do is say I got the value of r, I got the value of focal length, 1 by f would be mu or n. Here the symbol has been used 1 by r. The focal length of the lens, the refractive index has to be calculated and the radius is 30 centimeter. When you put that, very easily you'll get n as 2.5, so that will even give us option number A. So the correct option for this question is option number A and option number D. So a slight deviation here where the concept of partial reflection had been used, so that has really made the question a bit beautiful. That was with question number 10, now we'll move to question number 11. 